This morning we're launching a new series called Eye on Innovation. It will feature stories about the increasing role science and technology play in our lives. Cutting edge technology is now shining a light on a mysterious sea creature called a larvation. Write that name down, class. You'll be quizzed on it later. Okay. The little critter appears to be a vital and powerful ally in the fight against climate change. Don Jonathan Bigliotti spoke with scientists at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute who introduced us to an animal we might not be able to live without. If you drained Monterey Bay in Central California, you would see a chasm the size of the Grand Canyon. It's here that scientists just discovered a key to how the oceans keep carbon out of our atmosphere. These animals that are less than 10 centimeters in size are, are playing, playing outsized roles in, in how things are moving around and functioning in our ocean. There's the laser housing here. It's Kakani Kachija uh, is the engineer who built and deployed this unique camera and laser scanning system. It was just used to look inside a creature that has puzzled and amazed scientists for decades. Three, two, one. Her team attached that system to a remote underwater vehicle that dove almost a mile deep in the bay to find their elusive subject. What are larvations. What's really amazing about these animals is their ability to create really complex structures um, completely out of mucus that they secrete. 1200 meters. The camera gave them these images of the tiny creature at the center of a sometimes three foot diameter web of intricately constructed mucus. Three feet of snot. Exactly. As you put it. So, you know, <laughs> Some nice. people say snot palace, so. <laughs> snot palace. I feel like a palace is a better term than just a house, just because of the, the complexity, right? Do you want me to turn more East Bridge? But it was only when the crew deployed their new laser scanning device that they were able to explore the interiors of those palaces. That's when they discovered the creature's vital role in the ecosystem. Those mucus structures serve to filter particles and food from the water around them. You know, those particles are essentially made up of carbon. They actually stay kind of confined or trapped within those mucus structures. And these animals um, will actually abandon these structures, swim away, and build new ones. That's the animal's mouth right there. As the larvations swim away, the particle-laden webs sink to the ocean floor, keeping that carbon trapped or in the marine food cycle and out of Earth's atmosphere. We have estimates that they filter anywhere from 40 to up to 80 liters per hour. 80 liters of water an hour? Per individual. Here in Monterey Bay, uh, it's approximately 500 uh, Olympic-sized swimming pools being filtered per hour. Since carbon in our atmosphere traps heat and warms the planet, scientists say anything that helps keep it sequestered in the ocean is a huge ally in our battle against climate change. I spent a lot of time looking to nature for designs or developments that could be inspirational for new engineering technologies. And so this is where I'm hoping the research will go. How possible is it for man and woman to mimic what the larvation does? It's a great question. I wish I knew the answer. <laughs> it seems to me that if we could somehow tap into what the larvation knows and does, we could eliminate carbon permanently. Perhaps. It's hard to say at this point. What's easier to say is that since larvations have been found in every ocean basin on Earth, these tiny palace builders of the sea play a huge role in keeping life sustainable for us back on land. I mean, they're amazing engineers. They are amazing engineers. For CBS This Morning, Jonathan Vigliotti, Monterey Bay, California. Wow, is that yeah. fascinating. Yeah, it loses a creepiness when you see what they're doing. Yeah. You see well, the work still, they're doing. It's yeah. a little creepy, but yeah. a mucus palace? Yeah, you lost me with the snot palace yeah. and the mucus palace, but yeah. I, I got past that and you see what they're did. doing. I, yeah. I love this new yeah. series. So the bar is now pretty high for good stories. Yeah. That was an amazing piece. The, the yeah. images, too, were stunning. And Katani Katija, one of the best names ever. Like that, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. You liked everything but the mucus, right? <laughs> yeah. All right.